Hey guys, this is Calvin from Instalord. In this video, we will take a look at Instalord's Material Merge feature. Material merging is the process of taking multiple materials and textures in a scene and merging them together into a single material. The different material parameters of the original materials get baked into according textures so that the final result looks identical to the input model. Material merging is best done after the polygon reduction as other processes, such as remeshing, can generate new materials and textures, which could ideally be encompassed into the texture atlas. Material merging is used to reduce draw cores and texture memory overhead. Instead of needing 9 draw cores and 35 textures, we can reduce this to 1 draw core and 5 textures, which makes rendering the object much lighter, without having to reduce the polygon count. This scene is composed of 98 objects, using over 40 different materials, resulting in 212 draw calls. For this example, the target polygon count has already been reached. However, the amount of draw calls will make this scene rather heavy to render, which is why we will apply material merging to end up with a single material for the entire scene. First of all, I will increase the gutter size in pixels. This will make sure that every UV shell has at least 15 pixels between its neighboring shells. This can remove potential MIP map bleeding when viewing the scene from a distance. I will lock the UVs to 90 degree rotations. This is a rather use case specific setting. I'm doing it here because of this brick texture in the buildings. I want the lines of the bricks to line up with the final pixel grid. Because if I were to bake everything onto a low resolution texture with the UVs rotated by, let's say 45 degrees, could result in pixel stepping. Stack duplicate shells is a very powerful setting which enables Instalod to stack shells of duplicate objects to make the most of the UV and texture space. With World Space Normalize enabled, Instalod matches the UV scale of objects to their World Space scale. So basically, larger objects will use up more UV space than smaller ones. With the feature importances, users can decide what Instalod should give more focus towards when baking the textures and laying out the UVs. With the material merge settings set up, let's dive into the texture output settings. If the input model has roughness or metalness textures, or just flat values, these can be baked together into according textures by selecting the metalness and roughness output textures. The same goes for emissive textures and values. In my case, I will keep all of these textures disabled. If your input models have AO or normal maps or any other textures, these will also get merged and baked into their own textures. When baking textures, it is important to specify the resolution at which it should bake. Right now, we have the default texture size of 2K. Remember that a single building block contains multiple 2K textures. So baking the entire city scene into a single 2K texture doesn't really seem plausible. We are going to do it anyway, however, and click Start. So the reason why we are able to bake everything onto a single 2K texture is due to the stack duplicate shells setting. This will find out if and where we have duplicate objects in the scene. In my case, that would be the buildings, the ground floor, or other parts such as the walls. Even though these objects have been moved, rotated, and scaled around the scene, Instalot can figure out where and how to stack these individual UV shells to make the most of the UV space and the final texture. In the final result, we can see that every brick in the wall is still distinguishable, even from up close. Considering that the entire scene is now baked onto a single 2K texture, this is an extremely impressive result. In the UVs, we can see how the UVs of the different building blocks have been stacked, the same with the walls and the ground as well. Right now, we still have 98 draw calls due to the 98 individual objects left. To reduce this, we can simply combine the scene and end up with one object using one material, creating one single draw call. To finish things off, I would love to mention that other operations, such as Instalod's remesh, are also capable of combining materials by baking input textures together into a single texture atlas. Michael Pavlovich showcases this beautifully in his video Automating the Retopology of a Complex Game Asset. 
I'll make sure to link his video in the video description below. If you enjoyed this video, drop us a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. For the latest news about Instalod, please visit our website and follow us on Twitter. You can find all of the links in the video description below. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.